So NLE Chopper recently did a song, and in that song, he sampled Mike Jones. Who? Mike Jones. Who? Mike Jones. Now, I know y'all remember Mike Jones. I'm talking about the Texas legend. Uh, however, NLE Chopper came out, sampled Mike Jones, and it looks like the song that NLE Chopper put out has been taken down for copyright. You know what I'm talking about? Now, NLE Chopper came out, sort of went at Mike Jones. You know what I'm talking about? Pretty much told him he has lost all respect for Mike Jones at all, in which Mike Jones did respond. And I've got some updated news on Kodak Black. You know what I'm talking about? But let me get this intro out the way. Check it out, man. All right. Key Talk Society, make sure y'all hit that like button so we can get back in the algorithm and I can get the story started. Anyway, so, yes, NLE Chopper came out, you know what I'm talking about, upset, mad at Mike Jones, you know what I'm talking about, because Mike Jones done took his song down somehow, and which Mike Jones responded. Now, NLE Chopper pretty much came out and said, I don't know if it's Mike Jones or if his team, but on everything, y'all did wrong for trying to copyright a song, I got clear. That's some hating stuff, especially for a young like me that's just trying to please his fans. I don't feel that lost dumb respect, but it's cool, though, so... NLE Chopper pretty much coming out letting them know, hey man, I done lost respect for you, man. You know what I'm talking about? I'm trying to get this out of my song, and I'm a youngster, you know what I'm talking about? And you're going to take it down like that? Now, this has happened in the past to Mike Jones before, right? There was another rapper that was actually trying to sample a Mike Jones song, and what did Mike Jones do? Got it taken down with the swiftness, you know what I'm talking about? And told him, welcome to the music business, you know what I'm talking about? So, you know, Mike Jones did respond and pretty much gave NLE Chopper the same thing that he gave the other person, in which he said, Don't don't care about getting respect, especially if the respect wasn't shown four months ago prior to releasing the music without getting the business clear. I told y'all, welcome to the music business. Stay tuned for receipts, and I wish it would. Now, he said he got receipts, and he also said he wish it would. Y'all you know talking about now? I can understand the receipts, but I don't know if the wish it would part. Y'all you know talking about if. This is really turned into that type of level yet, but he, I guess he's making it clear. Hey, man, listen, if we got to take it that way. And then we can take it away, you know what I'm talking about, it is what it is, you know what I'm talking about, and then which NLE Chopper responded back, just saying that, hey, man, listen, he buddy got to be broke or something like that, man, he lame, and I lost respect for him, he actually said, this man lame for that, I'm partnered with a major label, they not even gonna release a song if it ain't clear, if that's the case, you would have sued instead of copyrighted, anybody can make a copyright claim, that don't mean the record ain't clear, broke activities, and he also said, hey, man, your buddy going broke right now, you know what I'm talking about, and is lame, no respect for him. So, with that being said, right, if you go look at the video uh, that NLE Chop is talking about that was taken down for the copyright claim, it does say that the person that took it down is like another major record label, right? So, with that being said, you know, if another major record label took it down and he signed to one major record label and all these label heads know each other and all this stuff like that, right, they should be able to get it you know, put back up with the swiftness and the quickness because NLE Chopper did also come out and say that Mike Jones don't even own the song. You know what I mean? He said, hey, man, he don't even own the song. So he's kind of flipping the script on Mike Jones and saying that Mike Jones is the one that actually don't know the business, even though he's saying welcome to the music business, right? So only time's going to tell how this is going to go. Whether the song's gonna come back up, whether Mike Jones gonna have to drop the receipts that he said he got, because Mike Jones definitely said, Hey man, listen, I got receipts for everything, you know what I'm talking about? So he'll probably get those out. Now, in other news, you know what I'm talking about, y'all know that you know the reason that the uh the song with you know uh Whack 100, well not Whack 100, with Kodak Black and also 6ix9ine, the reason that song actually came out was because of Whack 100, you know what I'm talking about? Whack 100 put those two together and got that song to drop, you know? So, with everybody saying that Kodak Black is potentially on, you know what I'm talking about, on some, whatever that may be, uh, you know... Pretty much Wack 100 is coming out and defending him because Ray J pretty much came out after the uh, the Drink Champs interview that I you know did a uh, video on previous video. Go check that out if you want to. But Ray J came out pretty much saying that Kodak Black needs some type of help. You know, somebody made a fool of himself at the White House and Wack 100 responded for him and took up for Kodak Black because Kodak Black did some business with him, you know what I'm talking about, but anyways, Ray J pretty much came out and said, yo, somebody needs to grab bro and make sure he good, this ain't the interview, nor, we gotta get this dude help, I took him to Trump house, and he did the most, they were not happy with his experience, because he had no guidance and respect, yo, Wack 100, let's figure out how we can get this guy some help, instead of watching him self-destruct, now, 
Ray J did come out and say that, right? A lot of people is actually co-signing what Ray J said and have said what Ray J said before Ray J said it because a lot of people think that, like I say, Kodak Black is potentially might be on somebody just, you know, based off a lot of his music that he done said in his music, his appearance, and like I say, the slurs, which of course mixed in with the slurs of Kodak Black is of course the Floridian inside of him. You know what I'm talking about? But uh Wack 100 pretty much responded and said it ain't nothing wrong with Kodak Black. Either you understand him or you don't. Man was focused on being himself. The greats always stand alone. So I expect nothing less from Wack 100 than to come and actually defend Kodak Black, right? Kodak, you see, see Wack 100 from like Cali, right? That's like a super major gang banging type of young time. A big pyro business, Wack 100, what I call him, because he's like the kind of person to where, okay, if you did a favor for me, you know what I'm talking about? I'm a rock with you, you know what I'm talking about? I'm a rock with you, what, who against whoever, whatever it is, and I'm a stand on what i'm saying if i gotta stand on what i'm saying you feel me so with that being said right we're gonna have to see how everything goes with nle chopper and mike jones we're gonna have to see if buddy get his song back up you know what i'm talking about if mike jones actually drops the receipts that he said he had and also with kodak black hopefully buddy is good you know what i'm talking about because a lot of people is concerned for kodak black i don't think it was any type of malice within the words that ray j was actually saying i think ray j believes that buddy needs some help as well but also i you know you got to respect whack 100 for actually standing up for Kodak Black because you know what I'm talking about he just repaying back the favor because what uh Kodak Black did that song was 6ix9ine right but anyways let me know some coming down below let me know what you think about this entire deal I'm out